Welcome friends. In the last video, I have explained the introduction about machine learning. In this video, I am going to explain you the basic difference between human learning and the machine learning. So first of all, we want to know what is human learning. So human learning is all about observing things, recognizing a pattern, elaborating a theory or a model which explains the pattern and then putting that theory to the test and checking whether it matches most or all the observations. So this is the basic thing that is <coughs> happening in human learning. So first we will be observing the pattern or recognizing the pattern. Uh, then we are elaborating or explaining those pattern and then we are testing whether it is uh, working fine or you, whether you are getting the proper observation. So the learning is basically a model that represents a pattern within a collection of these observations. So without a feasible model there is uh, no learning that we can surely say. So for example you can consider a mathematical formula or physics equation or some biological theory or uh, the statistical theorem which you are learning or chemical equations. All these uh, describe a scheme of physical or natural world. So uh, based on this the human learning is actually occurring based on the theorem or the uh, equations what we solve or the formulas available in mathematics and all those. So we can normally classify this human learning into two different ways. One is model based learning and another one is the model free learning. So what is model based learning? So model based learning is the uh, top down approach that represents or uh, using which the learner starts with the a uh, preconceived model of the environment. So because of this the learning is based on the uh, planning, predictions and actions uh, that are made. So it is completely working based on the uh, probabilities and rewards of this model. <coughs> While in case of this model free learning uh, it is just the different thing that which does not begin with any model of the environment but the rewards of each action are just learned and stored in a bottom up way okay, by which the future actions are decided based on what was learned. So this is what happening in the model free learning. So these are the two important types of learning which occurs in uh, human. So while uh, both of this model free and model based mechanisms can be found in human learning, uh, the mechanism that are generally observed are the model based learning, that what, what we normally do. Coming into this machine learning, okay, what does this machine learning mean? So everything ranging from uh, driving a car to translating a speech. Machine learning brings about an enormous expansion of this artificial intelligence capabilities. So because of which this enabling software to bring meaning, bring uh, meaning to the uh, unpredictable real world. So when technically speaking, uh, machine learning refers to the process of uh, teaching a computer system how to uh, accurately uh, make predictions based on the data it is fed with. So the basic thing happening here is uh, it refers to the process of teaching a computer system how accurately make predictions based on the data it is fed with. So these predictions can be uh, can include uh, whether a fruit in a photo 
is a banana or apple so this is the basic thing that is going to happen so it, uh, the machine itself is going to identify the photo uh, put into input uh, to this uh, whether it is a banana or an apple so perhaps this main distinction with the traditional computer uh, software is the fact that a human developer did not write a code instructing the system on how to distinguish this uh, banana or the apple so not the uh, uh, in developer uh, who is going to write the code to identify uh, whether this particular image is a banana or a apple but what the machine is going to do is so machine is trained accurately to identify whether the fruit uh, whether the photo of the fruit uh, by identifying it or processing the large amount of data uh, in the case a large number of images actually so here we are uh, putting the photo of a fruit as an input so uh, it process the large amount of the, uh, images uh, branded to show banana or an apple so that it will be easily identifying what is this so getting uh, deep into this machine learning uh, so we need to combine uh, we need to differentiate how uh, these things are happening or we need to relate how this human learning is related with this various uh, machine learning Uh, mechanisms so for that uh, we need to first know uh, the generally the machine learning falls into three major categories so first one is the supervised learning second one is unsupervised learning and the third one is the reinforcement learning so we we are going to look into these things uh, one by one in the later slide the first one is uh, supervised learning so in, in essence this approach uh, mainly focus on uh, teaching machines by example so here everything is going to happen uh, with examples so as part of the training in the supervised learning systems are subjected to uh, huge volumes or labeled data these labeled data normally call it as uh, training data so based on this uh, training data like uh, pictures or uh, handwritten numbers are not shared to show uh, which digit they match so this is an example so uh, with sufficient examples so with sufficient examples put as an input uh, as supervised learning system will eventually be able to recognize uh, the group of pixels or shapes related to each number maybe 1 2 3 la, the numbers each will be having a different shape and uh, different pixels so this machine learning algorithm is going to uh, re, uh, learn the various shapes and based on that it is going to uh, recognizing so which leads to the a uh, recognition of uh, the scan written numbers to really identify the numbers so it may be 4 uh, or 6 or anything may be uh, the, so whatever hand written numbers present there it takes it identifies or matches with the shapes of the numbers which is already provided and based on that it identifies what number has been written so it the training of these systems typically involves large amount of la labeled data or as i said the training data okay as some systems need to be uh, exposed to millions of examples to achieve the uh, task successfully so this supervised uh, learning uh, we, when we are relating to the two different types of uh, human learning which we have already seen so this is related to the uh, model based learning approach as it gets the input and based on that it processes it so uh, supervised learning would be considered a model based learning approach as it relies on a pre labeled training dataset 
to determine its predictions so next we shall move to the next type of uh, learning uh, related to this uh, uh, machine learning concept uh, so that is unsupervised learning so in unsupervised learning mechanism the learning processes use algorithms uh, so that identifies the patterns in the data so here you are going to uh, make the uh, uh, grouping options so it is uh, so what this unsupervised learning process is going to do is it uh, searches for similarities that breaks the data into various uh, categories so one of the example i have quoted here is the airbnb uh, so bar uh, it will be able to find group of houses which are available for rent near to me as well as it will be uh, giving uh, as well as this google knows which groups the articles related to the same topics on a daily basis so it is so these two are some of the uh, example uh, which is somewhat related to this unsupervised learning so this unsupervised uh, learning uh, such as uh, clustering it focuses on the searching for patterns in the data set that do not build a model okay so here this unsupervised learning is creating this cluster or uh, making a grouping patterns so here it is not based on the uh, input model so hence uh, we can say this uh, unsupervised learning is a model free learning so this is what i have explained and the next is the uh, reinforcement learning so this reinforcement learning has the uh, both model free as well as model based methods so when coming to this model based reinforcement learning it is similar to the uh, model based operating conditions which we have already discussed where uh, the uh, program or the algorithm has an end goal and uh, it learns to reach that end goal through the outcomes of its action so uh, this is about this model based uh, reinforcement learning But on this contrary when going for this model free reinforcement learning it does not have an end goal but uh, what is happening here is it uh, but the outcomes of the actions still contain uh, rewards which the program uses to learn in a trial and error fashion so here there is no appropriate uh, input data available but it uh, with the rewards it actually have that is the groups which it actually has it itself forms a trial and error mechanism so it trials for it if it is working it goes fine otherwise it you can identify the error and then it is able to correct it so these are the three different types of uh, machine learning uh, and that is related to this human learning mechanism now it's time to actually differentiate or compare this human learning with this machine learning when we compare this machine learning to the human learning theories ideas become much easier to understand and less confusing but uh, uh, when obviously uh, there remains some fundamental differences between these two uh, the first one or the primary uh, barrier that keeps this artificial intelligence away from approaching general human intelligence so the, uh, the major difference between these two is the actual barrier Uh, for keeping this artificial intelligence away from this human intelligence so normally this humans they use mental models that generally require very few examples but are able to make uh, new predictions through exploitation this uh, this is because of this humans are able to uh, draw inference from underlying concepts and generalize those concepts to novel situations 
but this uh, when uh, when uh, considering this machine learning these things are not possible so the machine learning is unable to do uh, this because the programs only interpret the data and not the concepts thank you